Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing? Good after morning. That's what it is. I keep saying afternoon. It's good after morning. That's that's the phrase that someone in the chat coined, and I'm going with it. How are we all doing? Welcome into Twitch.tv forward slash Ashkimo Floods. As you can see on the screen, my name is Luke Cooley, and I 100% got more than quiet. Never mind, I'm back now. As you can see, I got <laughs> more than three hours sleep last night. Yeah, three and a half hours, M ish, maybe four, maybe four. A push, nice. So we were still streaming PUBG at one a.m. Uh, this morning. Then we had to get up for silly o'clock to get to the the office. We've had all of the meetings and stuff, and and maybe got up in the middle of the night. So yeah, about about three four hours sleep. Nice, love it, love it. Best way to spend your last ever scoop as a 35 year old because i'm 36 in in uh in 11 hours and 35 minutes just in case anyone wondered did you oh. ask nice i thought you did nice <laughs> nice oh you got uh, all your presents ready ladies and gentlemen uh yeah i i expect all of... now you're not rip my ears sorry dino okay <laughs> fine let it go it's okay um in a work call so just swinging by to say hi to graham and chucky <laughs> <laughs> oh that was fucking <laughs> have, have, have i been being shit talked while i've not been here did you not oh. did you not see the chucky uh you, i'm pretty sure you responded to it in no, the discord I, no. the Oh yeah, I did. Sorry, I thought you meant it in the stream last night. Oh, well, that's right, what it was. He's getting fucking banned. I mean, it's not... <laughs> two minutes in. He put it in the Discord and he and he didn't even tell me what it was. He says, I've just checked Discord <laughs> while I was in the chat. And I was like, okay. The disrespect. The so I opened it up and it was fucking... It, exclamation mark Discord, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to know what it is, we're not going to tell you. We're not going to show you. If you want to know what Chucky is, um, then full on. Exclamation mark Discord in the chat will give you the link. Get into the Discord and check out the humor and meme section of the Discord because because tito he, he, he tried he swung at me yesterday and missed uh, but but with that one he swung and he hit so. oh, it's a very it, it's an easy dub in it it's an easy dub. Yeah, anything it's, that's fucking remotely ginger it's because you weren't there yeah no, that's it like that's that's why he hit i mean for me he swung and missed because we I mean, i'm gonna I'll go back for him again don't worry babe i've got you back, I've got you Cheers, back. Pal. um so we're in gaming Charge. nacho stream yesterday uh gaming nacho did um is it pictionary where you draw a picture and people have to guess what it is yes well there's a there's a, there's a stream version of that where your chat can guess what your picture is um and tito was like I fucking got this yeah i've got this in the bag who won the first one boom um <laughs> then the second one comes up tito wins the second one although i still think you know that's a bit of a fix because because on my screen my word was submitted first but on his end fine whatever sky internet whatever yeah, yeah. tito was like ah told you i've got it what where are you ice cream where are you what 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 yeah yeah, yeah. literally i mean let's f forget the fact that at this point in time you get points for how quick you answer yeah. at this point i was on seventy six thousand points tito was on like 52 or something oh, like well, that. Yeah. but sure. but he got one so he was like yeah guess who won the next one and then the next one and the next one I think I got second in that one, but the, but I ended up with like it was like four whatever to me clear clear, clear winner clear. So. levels as I say. So yeah, basically he swung and missed, and then he had to go for AFK Bibby because he wasn't well, around. Well, yeah, yeah, I wasn't around. It's okay, don't worry about it. I know I am the ginger bastard stepchild. Don't worry about it. It's an easy dub, but uh, I mean I gave him such a compliment yesterday about his beard as well. And what do I get? He was like, fuck it. He's, he's, he's saying I'm the, I'm a good ginger beard. I need to take the other one down. He felt he felt threatened. Outrage. I mean, I've threat. already got a ball patch underneath the fucking chin. <laughs> yeah. He's going for he's going for something else. So don't worry about it. It's fine. Anyway, it was a good picture though. It was, it was, it was a great pissing. picture. It was pissing. It was a great picture. Exclamation mark! This guy, if you check out. Anyway, if you don't know what this is, who we are, as you can see on the screen, my name is Graham Dave, joined by the man that we call Bibi. This is Ice Cream Uploads. In true ice creamy fashion, this is the scoop, the UK's number one video game podcast. If, if we, we do, do say, say so, so ourselves. ourselves. Nice. Uh, we go live on twitch.tv forward slash ice cream uploads each and every single weekday. Bang on the money at the exact same time of 10 a.m. Massive ish. Massive ish. Today it's 12.28 right now. So, although to be fair, I did say this last night. For anyone that was in the stream, yesterday for the scoop or yesterday evening for the PUBG stream, I did say today was going to be an ish stream because I did say I already mm -hmm. had meetings and stuff booked in. So, if, if you've got a problem with that, it's on you. It's on you. Reports it's on you. today as well. Hmm? Reports day today as well, so uh, it's a buff. 
Yeah, start, just a busy old start of the month, you know, all of the weekend, like month end sort of recappy stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah, nice, fine. Anyway, we do go live on Twitch at TV forward slash Ice Cream Wolf Pods each and every single weekday at 10 a.m. ish. Uh, but it's not just about the live stream. If you are in the chat, please do feel free to get involved because over the next hour or so, we will go through the biggest, the best, and the breaking stories from the world of video games. We will then give you our thoughts and impressions. We then want your thoughts and impressions. We then want your thoughts and impressions on our thoughts and impressions. And if you're, if you're in the chat, please do that because the live stream gets turned into a podcast, a video on YouTube, and an audio podcast on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play. There's lots of places where people watch and listen on demand, but they don't get to get involved right here, right now in the chat like you guys do. And I'm going to say people listen on demand, babe. Do you know yes. there's shitloads of people that listen on demand? There is over 100,000 people God damn. listen to this God damn. podcast services. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Before we jump into the show, though, let me give you guys a few reminders. Exclamation mark, loot, drop. You may have seen a tweet this morning. There is only four days left to get into the loot drop. Uh, we are giving away not only a game of your choice. You get to choose a game that you get to keep. Forever. We Forever. will buy it for you. We'll buy it for you. Any game ish ish. Obviously, we're not going to buy you 300 quid versions of Halo 3 or whatever. Mm. We'll buy you a standard release, RRP ish. You get, you get the idea. But as good as that is, it gets even better than that because, because the ice cream uploads baseball caps that everybody wants, literally everybody in the world. Um, well, the, we, 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 we're giving you one of them. Mm -hmm. One. One person will get one of the first run limited edition ice cream uploads baseball caps. You can choose between Blackout Flat Peak, Blackout Curved Peak, or the uh, Dodgers Blue Curved Peak. Take, take your pick. Take your pick. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, before we start talking news, though, let yes. me jump into the chat. Let's see who's here. Tito. Uh, uh, in a work call, just swing about to say hi to Graham and Chucky. Have a good one. Quiet. Now you're not. Rip my ears. Nice. I apologize, baby. You know I love you, mate. Uh, and then says, it was a shit game. It, was, it wasn't a shit game when he when he thought he was winning. <laughs> it, was it? Uh, Cameron. Hey. Morning, lads. Hi, Lurking this morning. Just a quick one. My sub doesn't seem to be linked in the Discord. Wondering uh, if it could be sorted. Uh, it can't be done our side, but just make sure that you go to your settings Go to connections and make sure that your Twitch account that you've just spoken from is connected there. Uh, that's the only way that they can do it. If not, there's the digital equivalent of turn it off and on again. Yeah. Unlink your account, relink your account. It'll probably uh, work. So I assume, or we assume, but don't know for certain, that it's something to do with when Twitch got hacked or leaked about a month ago, a lot of connections stopped working. So you can't export from Twitch straight into YouTube and things like that pretty sure that yeah. so we've had some issues like our last loot drop iceman won it when he wasn't a sub so you're a sub but you're not in it whereas iceman wasn't a sub yeah. but was in it so i think there are uh, the api communication stuff after that they've kind of shut things down and it's not working quite properly so unlink it relink it and see how you're getting on yeah uh, the, the, the obviously people's that is there as well so it's it is still active it might just be a case where i actually just drop I actually delete the loot drop channel and then just maybe reinstate it at some point again just to make sure that that connection has been reconnected, shall we say? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it, it should work. Just go to connections, make sure that it's there. If you can unlink it and link it back again, you should be in. I'll keep an eye on it for you today as well, and we'll go through that. I'll do a bit of troubleshooting with this afternoon if that's the case. Yeah, for this for this um this month's loot drop as well. Um, we're gonna like we did with the last month. We'll do some manual checks and stuff to make sure that there's not anyone that's in it that shouldn't be um but also just we'll probably do it just, just just let us know let us know make yeah, sure yeah. yeah i mean worst case scenario we'll just do exports from twitch or whatever and, and see it that way but but yeah yeah there might be people who's obviously got it connected that is just not showing that they're they can actually see the loot drop part as well so obviously again if i can see that you're a subscriber and it's fucking up and it's twitches because they're all by the same company and they can't even communicate with each other it's 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 shit um, and a lot of content creators are having the same problem as well so they're getting their mods or they're doing it manually themselves exporting lists this side exporting lists this side and tying them together so i'll make sure that obviously if it has been connected i can see that it's connected but you're not in there i'll make sure that you are included as well don't worry about that for those of you that don't know what we're talking about by the way the loot drop is a way that we give subscribers prizes every month the first monday of the month we give away prizes so obviously this month we just mentioned it will be a game of your choice plus some ice cream uploads super limited edition merch mm -hmm. to get that all you need to do is be a sub but the way we see whether you're a, a sub that's in for the win uh, you have to be in our discord uh if you're in our discord and you're a sub plus your discord and twitch accounts are linked you get access to the loot drop channel if you're in that loot drop channel you should be in in it for a chance to win it uh and that's it i've disconnected and reconnected not seeming to work but yeah appreciate that yeah. 
I'll have, I'll have a look at it in a bit when we finish the show. Make sure that everything's sound our end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if not, we'll probably, if it carries on like this, because this is month two where it's still kind of been a bit patchy, we'll probably look at how we can yeah. how we can tweak uh, the loot drop to make sure that everyone that's in it should be in it. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, Bib. Yes. Any plans for this evening? Bit of rimming. Bit of rimming. Bit of rimming. Mm. Bits of rimming. So, yes, yeah, Skyrim will be going live again this evening. I did get the Christmas tree down for Samantha yesterday, so I think she's going to be preoccupied this evening. <laughs> uh, so I think she's very excited about that. So obviously, she's in the chat. She's lurking. Um, so, yeah, I think she's going to be very excited about being able to put the Christmas decorate. I'm going to have to put the ones up outside. There's no way I'm letting her go up a ladder to try and put some Christmas lights on the top of the porch and that. But In before pictures of Bibby stood holding the ladder. Uh, go on, love. Yeah, yeah, go on, get yourself <laughs> a bit higher. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think she'll be doing that. So I will obviously be playing some Skyrim this, e this evening. No hello. Not tonight. My Xbox is being delivered between three and five, it says. And I mean, it's not it, enough time. That's plenty of time to both set up, update, add your accounts, download, fully install, register, and everything you need for Halo. That's, it's not like getting a new console takes you six days to get in. No, no. Uh, uh, Samantha did tell me about a tweet last night. You know that old tweet that goes around saying, "If you've got a Christmas, if you've got a console for your kid's Christmas, make sure that you take it out of this box, get it set up, and then someone just put, I'm going to let my kid wait. He can set it up himself. He can have, he can start feel now the pain. Yeah, he, he can feel the disappointment day one like the rest of us do, um, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. But yeah, I will be setting that up. The, the, I'm going to keep the schedule as it is for this week, and then when it comes to Monday again, I'll reset the schedule up. But I will be doing some Halo at some point this weekend with the boys. So if you do have Halo, you have an Xbox, or you have it on your PC, make sure you're in the Discord. I'll be hollering up some people this weekend to get in some Halo. Nice. Nice. Halo fun times. Vern, thank you very much for the host and for the lurk. Love you. Legend. Love you. Uh, interestingly, that's not come up in my activity feed on my dashboard, but it's come up in the Streamlabs chatbot. <laughs> Great. It's, everything's just breaking in it. Like, how does it come up on that, but not come up in the activity? On feed? actual Twitch itself. <laughs> what the fuck? It's, it's like not even like it's mine because it's yeah. your screen, my screen. Yeah. Twitch has just gone. Yeah, we're not bothered with that. that one. Appreciate it, though, Vern. Thank you very much for the look as well. Uh, Tazbad says, uh, does he just put his bum out the window for a good rimming? Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. That's what I've got a wife for as well. So if passersby don't fancy it, do you know what I mean? I've got a guaranteed rimmer right there. So while she's outside putting the lights and stuff up, mm -hmm. the Christmas decoration. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck is this show? Uh, what is this show? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so we are not really here to talk about rimming. Well, we, we are. Yeah, we are. Sky That's pretty rimming. much what we are. Exactly. <laughs> I think guy rimming more like... Oh, <laughs> um, just one final shout out, just because I've just seen my jacket while I was doing the moves and I thought it looks pretty swished. How fucking gorgeous is this jacket? It is pretty nice. Do you know, if you wanted one of these, yep. you could get one. Where and from? you could save yourself 20%. <gasps> Bye. Just type an exclamation mark into the coin in the chat. Oh, great style. Nice. What, what about our audio listeners? Where do they need to go to if they are listening and they can't have access to the chat? Well, if they want to see this, obviously you can see it on me on Twitch, or you can see other merchandise like this on twitch.tv forward slash official insert coin. But if you don't have that, just go to insert coin clothing, I think it is, dot com. Mm -hmm. um, and you can, you can pick this up, plus shitloads more of the best merch that you could get from across all of the video games in this room. We're talking, we're talking, I mean, this is Last of Us Part yeah, 2 yeah, jacket. Yeah. I mean, you can get some Skyrim stuff there yeah, if you're you interested. There's plenty of Skyrim stuff. A bit of Ghost there. of Tsushima stuff. I was wearing a Ghost of Tsushima t-shirt last Streets night. Streets of Rage. Yeah, cushions. We're talking pins. We're talking mugs and all the stuff. Go check it out. Uh, uh, also, as you 21 by the way, get yourself 20% off your first order. There you go. So if you want to buy stuff, stick it all in your bag. Buy it all at once. Get yourself 20% off it. All jobs are good and fill your boots. Easy. Exactly, exactly. Pacific rimming. Nice. That's what happens when you watching the films i'm just just pacific rim in love <laughs> one more day to the event of the year let's go tis bad nose tis is, bad nose is, is he is he counting down to your PUBG stream or no. city, city v watford no it's, it's my birthday i've mentioned you what I've not, I've not really made a big deal I'm, about it. it's my birthday oh I <laughs> tomorrow was, i thought it was counting down to show's birthday on saturday no. oh okay. no. that's a no. shame that's a shame no by the way do check out shogun ash live on twitch it's his birthday on saturday and and he's doing good stuff. Check he's him out. Check stuff. him out. Um, but yeah, my birthday tomorrow. That's more important than Yay. any of the charitable stuff that uh, shows doing to actually implement people's lives for the better. Uh, no, fine, shows might 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 edge it a little bit, but not in the same way that T Dodd does in the Discord. Anyway, enough of that. We are here to talk about video game news, and we have some interesting stories for you. The headline, and and we have a little bit clickbaited it because you know video game content creators. Standard. That's kind of what we expect. Um, but the headline is 
in the first story. Let me show you on screen. Scalping is now illegal. Ooh, you love to see it. That is the first story of the day. We'll then jump into the second story that Titanfall is dead. Next gen base is rolling around in his non existent grave. But it, like spitting actual <laughs> cereal at the screen. Yep. What? Oh, I almost did spare you then. Maybe I did. I don't know. Uh, next story Fall Guys has been delayed. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Baymax over here. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, Max. No. Oh no. Piss off, ghost. <laughs> Piss off, ghost. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Uh, nobody turned up. Except, <laughs> except for my mum and her boyfriend who I hate. <laughs> Fucking I love Cog so oh, much. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, new Xbox Game Pass games have been revealed. That's what we'll finish with. But as you can see, we will be starting with this story that scalping is now illegal. We'll jump over to Eurogamer as Matt Wales has this story. It says, US lawmakers announce a bill to... Boots and cats. Nice. Uh, okay, let's start again. US lawmakers announce bill to prohibit bot scalping of high-demand goods. Quote, so everyone has a fair chance of buying popular products at reasonable prices. Once again, Matt Wales at Eurogamer has the story, and we'll jump into the body of the article, which says, Politicians in the US have announced a new legislative bill named the Stopping Grinch Bots Act. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She is the most catchiest name possible. I thought, genuinely thought, that was one of those where you get stupid and you just add it. Yeah, let's call it the way we, we, we killed Stopping Grinch Bots Act. As if that is in US legislative. What? The bottom of both face act. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, so anyway, start again. Politicians. Nice. In the US have announced a new legislative bill named the Stopping Grinch Bots Act after the Dr. Seuss character that stole Christmas, uh, which seeks to curtail the scalp uh, scalping of high demand toys and goods. The bill, which specifically targets scalpers using bots to snap up online inventories of in demand items in order to resell them at significantly higher prices, doesn't limit its focus to the video games industry, but it would certainly cover items such as consoles and graphics cards, both of which have been hit particularly hard by scalping as a result of supply chain issues worsened during the pandemic quote these third-party stellar bots uh uh, use, uh, these thirty uh, anyway, these third party sellers use bots to bypass security measures and manipulate online sales systems to buy toys. The press release announcing the bill explains, leading to some toys being almost impossible to buy online or in stores at retail prices, exacerbating shortages caused by stressed supply chains. Quote at a time when families should be able to spend time with their loved ones, uh, digital green Grinch bots, that's a quote by the way, are forcing Americans to scour online sites in the hopes of finding an affordable gift or paying exorbitant prices for a single toy, the announcement continues. Quote, these bots don't just squeeze consumers. They pose a problem for small businesses, local retailers, and other entrepreneurs trying to ensure they have the best items in stock for their customers. End quote. The bill, thanks PC Mag, has been proposed by Representative Paul Tonko, uh, Senator Richard Blumenthal, Senate uh, Majority Leader Charles E. Schumer, and Senator Ben Ray Lujan, uh, and is intended to, to, quote, create a more level playing field so everyone has a fair chance of buying popular products at reasonable prices when shopping online, end quote. It follows a similar proposal, the Better Online Ticket Sales Act, or the BOTS Act, uh, that was signed into law in 2016, uh, prohibiting the use of automated bots to acquire tickets for public events and making it illegal for scalpers to sell those tickets. The authors of the proposed legislation, which is supported by the uh, by the Consumer Reports, Consumer Federation of America, and the National Consumer League, say it would apply similar uh, similar mechanisms used in the Bots Act to ban bots by pa bypassing security measures implemented by on uh, online retail sites. PC Mag notes this isn't the first time such a bill has been proposed. Tonko Blumenthal and Schumer originally introduced the legislation in 2019 but its progress stalled in congressional committees the lawmakers are clearly hoping the increased stock shortages resulting from global supply chain issues will help drum up more support this time around i'm going to keep going just because the next bit says here in the uk i haven't actually let, let, uh, read this i've just got this might be a bit where we wrap it up though but here in the uk stories of scalpers and scalping groups dominating the headlines uh, such as these these and these <laughs> Nice, great. That's great when you're reading this out loud. By the way. <laughs> these, these, and these are all links. Um, 
they're all stories dominating the headlines. Um, stories like those have similarly drawn the ire of MPs. Last December, a number of politicians put forward an early day motion in UK Parliament to prohibit the resale of consoles and PC parts that are significantly overpriced, similar to existing legislation for the secondary selling of tickets, while also proposing the resale of goods purchased by bots could be made illegal. That motion has so far drawn cross-party support from 35 MPs, although perhaps crucially, no Conservative MPs have signed the proposal. Imagine that. Imagine that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, then it continues to give other examples of bills. But the one that we are talking about is the Stopping Grinch Bots Act. Mm. So it's American-based but has implications uh, for the rest of the world. Yeah. America, then, could be the forefront of the fight against scalpers. Yeah. Scalping could potentially be illegal. What are your thoughts, Bib? Yeah, so obviously this started in 2019. But obviously, it wasn't. A, it's always been a problem when it comes to consoles or across anything. Doesn't matter whether or not it's. T- By the way, the ticketing system that they've actually put a bill for for bots, the bots act, much better name than the Grinch who stole Christmas <laughs> or whatever the fuck it's going to be called. I like um, the fact that it's called though. Like they've they've found a series of words and letters to spell out bots. It's like in I think it, I don't know if it was like. It Marvel's Agents of Shield, the TV series, or when Shield, the strategic homeland intervention, blah 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 blah, mm. whatever it is, uh, and it's like it's almost as if someone's created a name and yeah. put loads of words together to make the word Shield. Someone, someone, someone uh, sat there somewhere is going, okay, what can we put together? To- <laughs> the Better Online Ticket Sales Act, what sacked? Nice, there we go. That's the. I one. mean, it works. The marketing team have done their job. The- GGs, GGs. But surely that's a trademarked name. What the uh, the Grinch one? Like, <laughs> potentially, Dr. Zeus is is going mental about that. Like, is he getting paid for that? Good, good question. Good question. But then again, um, depends. I mean, a Grinch. What was the Grinch called? The Grinch, and do we refer to things as a Grinch because of the Grinch, or was the Grinch called the Grinch because of the the word? No. Depends. Is it nominal determination, or or did the, did it has the, to be the character first? Surely. Past. Past. Well, yeah. If anyone knows, if right anyone can just. Us. Just get Dr. Seuss on the phone. Pretty sure he's, he's no, no longer with us. No, but, but, but yeah, just, just, just get him on the phone. Job's good and nice. Um, but anyway, yeah, but they're putting this through obviously started in 2019. It's always been a problem, but I feel like these acts only seem to come to fruition when the people who are deciding get to have feeling hardships themselves. Yeah. Um, which is why it didn't get passed through two years, three years ago, this moment in time. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that this is coming back in again, considering what's been the case for the last 18 months, trying to get hold of these consoles, putting them on order, etc., etc., etc. et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. Um, Do I think that this is the kind of... Because this hasn't been signed off yet. This is still going through Parliament and stuff. We don't actually know whether or not this will actually be an an act. I imagine they're going to get told to change the name. I can't see that being the, the official name for it going forward. I think someone will have something to say somewhere about that. But I... <laughs> I think it's can can you scalping will always be here. I don't think they can make it illegal because it's just where do you where do you draw the line? Draw the line is it? Do you get drawn the line at someone like me and you buying loads of them and selling them, but then CEX down the road can still sell them for nine hundred pounds? And that that's where the grey area is. Is like, is it is it just fair? Fair trading is it an open market? It's capitalism, so you can capitalize by using the tools at at your uh, disposal that everyone else can get mm-hmm. um and that's where that's where I, I reckon the argument probably comes in is like okay not everyone has the knowledge or even tools to be able to scalp so mm-hmm. it's not a fair market it's not an open market in that sort of sense um cex have invested in a brick and mortar store and staffing and gas and electricity so they they have put a presence out they've done marketing to let people know that they're there so people come in which then allows them to absolutely rip the ass out yeah. of the price and, and sell it at extortionate prices not a fan of the way cgx selling consoles at high prices by the way was a big fan of cex before this uh this is just as as nah, yeah um so arguably the way cex is doing it is legit because they are buying off of other people and selling at extortionate prices the other people that are selling to cex though are sat there with discord bots that are looking that are instantly jumping going through um uh, sales process procedures yeah. that that directly contravene the term contravene the terms and condition of a website pretty much any website that you go on will have terms and conditions that say something similar to um you 
by using this website, you agree to the terms, which include not using any other software that allow you to use the website in a way that it isn't intended. Yeah. And that's what a bot does. It jumps you past pages or it reads scripts that you can't see but are going on in the background. If you can't see it with your eyes, it's not meant to be seen. Yeah. Um, so so bots doing all that sort of shit, that is where it becomes unfair. But but it, that's where you get the arguments. And usually it's the scalpers that are arguing it. Yeah, but it's... What's what's to stop me from buying someone and selling it, mate? That's, I'm just it's just it's capitalism. I'm buying to sell, just like anything else. Yeah, but but are you doing that fair? Are you using are you using systems and agreed processes that everyone else equally has? No, no, you're not. Also, tell me about how much tax you're spending on all this stuff that you're buying and then selling through fucking Facebook Marketplace. I bet it's none. Yeah. So so what's to say that if someone wants to work at CEX? They would then go. There's an employee would buy the console via a bot or whatever, pay four fifty for the console, then go into work and then sell it to the company for six fifty, who then then sells it for eight fifty. Like, where's the where's the grey line in that? Because an employee technically could do it off their own personal back, oh. but in turn is making themselves and the company a lot of profit There's at the same time. Two separate issues. Uh, two separate bits there. One of it is is wrong one of it is right cex technically is still within their rights because even though that is an employee that's still effectively someone from the public selling to the business uh the business buying someone else's products they are unaware that they're effectively profiting off of uh i don't want to say crime because it's not illegal off malpractice let's yeah. put it that way but the malpractice comes from that person using the bot they've already done the voiding terms and conditions mm. using external software giving them an unfair advantage to get the hardware and at that point so they've done the wrong the bit that cex is doing they technically are unaware technically obviously he's selling it to his own business so yeah. he knows what the fuck's happening um so that's that's probably still wrong because that's that's like shareholders like insider trading sort of stuff so this, there probably is some wrong in there but if you were looking at it as just let's say he was a cex employee and what took it to a different store, yeah. then it's it's not so much inside the trading. He knows they're going to buy it. He knows that he's going to make two hundred quid, and they're going to make two hundred quid. Yeah. So so it's victimless crime, but it's not because because you're taking four hundred quid off someone else that doesn't need to be spending that four hundred quid extra to get a console. They wouldn't have spent that if you weren't botting it and making it like super hard to get hold of. So fucking yes, please mm -hmm. give me all all of the scalping illegalities. Get all of the restrictions on it. I will happily take that. The, the interesting thing is, is we we talk about this now, and there's there's. It's the we were talking about last week with the Elgato and the the Streamlabs sort of like first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um this is where where the sneakerheads in the room are going, Oh, first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> New to this, are you? <laughs> this has been a thing and we've said we've spoken about this like all pretty much all of last year was this conversation. Mm -hmm. Um it's terrible that we can put a man on the moon that I can order food to Dan, from I can order from here to get someone else in the middle of Manchester to turn up at my house and give Daniel a coffee. Um, but we can't get a system where I was in there first uh, to buy a pair of trainers or a graphics card or a PC mm -hmm. part or whatever. We don't live in an environment where that stuff exists. And the reason that stuff doesn't exist is not because it's impossible, not because it's technical limitations, it's because of fear of loss of revenue. Mm -hmm. It's about capitalism. It's about I want your money by hook or by crook. Um, and what we need is someone to re reinvent the wheel, make a system that does that, that doesn't damage profit potential from the business. So let's say game buys 100 PlayStations. They want to sell 100 PlayStations. So they will take fucking first person that buys them, it's gone, not bothered. We need yeah. the profit, we need the profit, we need the profit. We need something that, that allows them to do that whilst keeping the fairness. Um, Let me tell you I can do that. How is that? This, this is revolutionary. Right? Oh, oh. This is revolutionary. Right, everyone sit still. Yeah, sit down. Brace yourself. Sell them in store. Sell them in store? Yeah, I know, obviously, the, the, the obvious thing to say is... Oh, this is not in a 1997, pandemic. mate. <laughs> yeah, whereas in a pandemic, you can't go to the stores. It used to say that you can't go to the store, reserve them, and then one per person. I imagine now, my local game is Crown Point, I think, in Denton. If they was to have... 400 console. <laughs> if they was to have 400 consoles in store, I am fairly certain the entirety of Crown Point, which is massive, by the way, it's like a proper industrial estate, real retail, retail park. It's a retail park. It's massive. The, the queue would be massive for it. It would go right the way to the other side. They would have people come. They would have no problem in selling those consoles if they was to have them in store. 
what they should be doing is if they have 400 available sell 50 online 350 in store i can guarantee now that the fair enough the scalpers will still get the 50 but 350 people actually have the opportunity to be able to go and collect it i know it's 2021 you should be able to buy everything online and you can but the easiest way to get around this problem is put them in store the thing is like there's there's digital versions of that that exist though so you've seen the likes of curry's doing vip uh codes to people that have signed up mm. for it which doesn't get rid of all scalping potential makes it a bit more difficult if scalpers don't get guaranteed returns on investments they're not asked i mean you do see it's not flawless because scalpers have just been selling the vip codes mm. as opposed to actually selling the console i'm selling the potential to buy something yeah. imagine that fucking whew, capitalism for you though so stuff does exist though there's there's, there's pre-order stuff there's there's anti uh botting queue systems and things that that, that people put in place just having a website that's not the game website is probably a good way to start as well yeah. uh, so there is there are things that are put in place but a lot of retailers are stuck in the mindset of i don't I, i'm a digital retailer it's cheaper for me to sell online because i don't have to pay staff in store and mm -hmm. gas electricity and all that sort of stuff um so i'm selling online because of that also some people don't want to go out some people are working it's easier more convenient to sell online i could do stuff to make it easier yeah but I'm getting all the profit I need right now, so I'm not yeah. bothered about you as a consumer. Yeah, really. Tyler, Tyler says that more money in online sales, and I do agree with that. A lot of the time, there will be, but with something like selling a console, it's the same price online than it is. Then you're going to be going to the shop, and I agree, the overheads and the staffing costs, stuff like that, but the shop is already there. They are already spending that money. So it's not as if they're having to buy a shop and then put the staff in, then fill it with other crap. Like, the, the, there's only so much three for two xbox 360 games that they that came are selling at the moment to keep the doors open like it's they, they don't have that much on the shelves anymore for you to be able to go in you can't really unless it's they've got an overwhelming stock of a, a stock of a particular console i don't know a wii u think, or a nintendo thing Switch is though, like if you could sell if you've got a store and you've got a digital store already that exists would you want to say say the console's for 450 mm -hmm. um and you get a hundred quid profit from selling it digitally online, but you get seventy-five or fifty quid profit mm -hmm. from selling it in store. You'd still want to though get your hundred quid. Profits. Oh yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. Yeah, but it, it might, I imagine if this act ever comes in, the easiest way for them to be able to get around it is just by selling it in stores again. Like rather than that, because they will have to change the way that they provide stuff to people. Like just saying scalping's illegal doesn't necessarily mean that the scalpers are going to stop. They'll find ways of being able to do it alternatively but so the easiest way for them to be able to adhere to a new law is to go okay we're just going to sell it in store instead they might lose 20 quid or whatever but i think i think it's it's not future proofing though the, the reason game is struggling and stuff is because the high street doesn't work properly and today. they are ridiculously more expensive than the game collection which is just solely online yeah like, is it, they are they are still into for the year 2000 like they haven't changed one bit they might have brought in the belong arenas and stuff like that for people to just rock up but rk club are doing that way better than yeah they are. i mean the value for money is ridiculous i love to drop him into the game every time I'm in the trafford center we do go into the game store i love the idea of uh belong arenas um but stupidly expensive but, as well yeah but that's it i'm I, i'm a switched on consumer mm -hmm. we talk about only 10 percent of the industry uh, the gaming industry will be aware of podcasts like this and will tune into podcasts. The rest of the 90% are casual. And it's kind of, it's almost that 10% that tune into podcasts like this probably are the ones that are not going to go and buy in game because we know that we can get it from Amazon and yeah. deliver to our door using Prime probably for cheaper or mm -hmm. things like that. Or we can use discount codes to get CD keys or gta or wherever you get your legit ps codes from <laughs> um, not illegal at all no i mean the, I, i'm saying that because i was i was actually looking at something gta ish the other day i can't remember why um but you can get legit and and dodgy codes off mm -hmm. of g2a.com buy the legit ones because if well, you buy the dodgy ones you'll get it taken off you and you have to get refunds and all that sort <laughs> of shit but um um yeah we, we are usually the people that will probably not buy from game even though we're the ones that kind of are their target audience because we, because it's expensive not that there's anything wrong with game my playstation my first playstation came from game a ps5 yeah. my my ps4 i think was game my xbox well one of my xbox 360s two of my xbox 360s were from game um ps2 was second hand because i was buy my own console for the first time then so you know cheap 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 but anyway I, i'm a big fan of game in principle it's it should be what mm -hmm. speaks to me but it's very much 
capitalism, which yeah, is nothing yeah. wrong with that. It's there to make money. Um, so I don't buy from game because I know, as as someone that also is interested in capitalism, I can save money by buying <laughs> elsewhere. Yeah. So, but that's why I loved Game Station so much. They were so much more switched on with this stuff. Like their prices, they will undercut game at any given opportunity. They had the consoles there for you to be able to go. In the amount of times I used to go into hide. I mean, I don't know if Mike's still here. Yeah, I don't know if Mike's in the chat, and Samantha will know this as well, where the EE shop now is in Hyde Mall. That used to be a game station. They used to have all the consoles around the outside. So if you went in, you could play the new Tiger Woods game or the new FIFA or Pro Evo or whatever. They just have it in the cabinets for you to be able to go in and knock about. That's what Teenage Bibby was doing. If you weren't playing football, he was down there with his mates or whatever. Like, game station was treated as a venue for you to be able to go in and socialized not just for you to be able to go in they had a fridge that you could buy buy food and drink from if you really wanted to like same, same thing trafford center so obviously the idea of the belong arenas having fridges and stuff is to try and keep you in yeah. keep you spending which which i get just drop the prices a little bit boys <laughs> uh, but so so yeah big fan and i would like to see more stuff being sold in store but like let's jump into the comments um timeless good after morning um Actually, let me jump back up. David says, if this happened in the 90s, it would it would have changed Buzz Lightyear's catchphrase when his toy was getting scalped to, to infinity and jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it would have caught on, though. Uh, I didn't get a notification you were live. Oh, well, afternoon, gents. Uh, hey, DMAC, how's things doing? Uh, more money in online Pretty sales. Sure, yeah. You have to offer customer choice, unfortunately. Going to stores is an outdated shopping experience now. Uh, they need more console stock to the shops, and that costs money. I 100% agree with them, but it won't happen. Game made an insane amount of money last year from online-only deals. It's just never going away. Obviously, lockdown was a reason and mm -hmm. then he says my ps4 xbox one s and x came from game my ps5 and xbox series x were from other retails one of the biggest mi mistakes game made was closing uh, closing game station stores also let me just yeah. drop uh some of the, the manny zidanos in the chat just for hey. just for a thanos soul him turning up was inevitable mm -hmm. there you go nice. <laughs> um but yeah it's in terms of if i was to have a business now and i was to create it entirely around gaming it might be a little bit daft if i'm being honest if you are looking at getting into trading video games nowadays i don't think the market is quite there anymore but i'd 100 percent make it a social experience i would have the the opportunity to be able to sell games it probably won't be brand new ones because the profit margin on them nowadays probably isn't that great and neither is selling used games is probably the same unless it's a profitable game there's no point having 17 copies of fifa 2016 on the shelf you ain't ever going to be able to sell. I, I wouldn't i would not push anyone to selling games now purely because and you're sitting with pcs there is an ea launcher there is a rockstar yeah. launcher there is a ubisoft launcher because they all want to sell mm -hmm. on their own and it's it's like we've seen apple being forced into you must have the ability to download and buy uh, things from other places yeah. and so on I, I wouldn't be surprised if may, maybe not this generation maybe not the next generation but at some point in the future we get to that sort of point where it's like why do we have to have the app store why yeah. can't we have a google play store on the iphone and therefore why can we not just get game pass on the playstation why can we not get the xbox live store on the playstation why do we have to use the playstation launcher yeah. because I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get to that point anyway the whole reason of all that is all these brands realized we don't need game anymore. Mm -hmm. We can sell directly through PlayStation Direct. Just this morning, PlayStation Direct got another fresh batch of PS5s in to yeah. sell directly to their consumers. Don't need game for that. Tesco did yesterday as well. So, so they are again. It is they are available. It's just we we are the ten percent that know where to go to be able to find this stuff. But I do genuinely feel like I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. And I have mentioned this quite a few times. I, don't, I genuinely don't know if it's because I'm getting older. But the whole the in, my idea. Yeah, the, 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 the couch co-op is where gaming peaked for me and I'm still trying to replicate that. Masters of the League was probably the first time where, even though we wasn't in the same building, we was both at our houses, but that's the couch co-op thing that you're experiencing. Like, I don't, again, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I want those experiences again of 10 to 15 year old baby going around to his friend's house and they're coming around to mine and we're all playing games with each other but having having a place where you can go to somewhere that they might sell food and drink uh they might you, you'll be able to play on all these consoles that's why i keep saying arcade club if you are in the northwest go to arcade club you will not be let down that's the experience that you should be trying to take but it's a very the reason <laughs> the reason why i keep on saying this is because they they have now three stores or they're going to have three stores they have one in Bury, one in leeds and they're meant to be making one in blackpool that is clearly a much better business proposition than having a store that is now selling video games i think that's where the future of video games is going not not just being able to play online which is very easy to do i can go home tonight if i wanted to play halo boot that up i can play with 10 members of our community like that dead easy no problems but being able to go on a saturday with four of your mates 
and go into a venue like that. They will take your money, fifteen pound on the door, keep you there because they sell beer, they sell drink, they sell pizzas, pizzas and stuff like that. Goddamn. They will keep you there all day. And they will have a bigger, better screen than you've got at home. Yeah. They will have a full VR cockpit that you don't have at home and things like that. They give you the experiences. I mean, Timeless does say in the chat that's what uh, they're trying to do with Belong, trying to make gaming uh, a community experience, steering away from retail it's stores. Expensive though. Yeah, that's that, the difference. Uh, that's the thing as well. Like it's still very much tied to, okay, just sit in, just play some games, get some snacks and stuff. If you want to buy a game or something while you're here as well, and um, you don't have that if you want to buy a game or something while you're here when you go to those like, arcade club kind of things. And that stuff is kind of like, I'm talking about things having launches as well. Forget even having launches. Why would I go mm-hmm. and buy a game from a, from anywhere when I get it free on Game Pass yeah. or get it free on the Netflix yeah, yeah. gaming app or Absolutely. get it free on Apple Arcade or whatever? So, yeah, retail. I mean, I'm a big fan of Belong. And, In principle. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Big fan of what they want to do. Belong, like, Bibby's got the website up now. It, like, the first thing you see is the Belong Arena Clash, which is if you don't know what Belong is, it's basically inside uh, the flagship game store. So so our local one is Trafford Centre, which has... Um, the downstairs is the store, the upstairs is the Belong Arena. It's basically nice, well-designed, like RGB-lit console uh, stations where you can... Uh, and PC stations where you can jump in, play games. You pay uh, and play. Jobs are good. And it is expensive. It is very expensive compared to what you can get just just 20 minutes away in Berry is very expensive. But the good thing about it is they are trying to make communities. So our local store is Trafford Centre, and each store has teams. Uh, so Tra- Trafford Centre is Manchester Swarm. I don't remember any of yours because it's not my local one. Um, and they have the Arena Clash. So they have, like, they're trying to create community esports teams in every store that will all fight against each other, and it'll lead up to games, big insomnia yeah. event where they have the Arena Clash finals, and it's all cool. Nice! Everything that you've ever wanted to do in your local nerdy hangouts as a kid is bigger and better it's wonderful it's just super expensive did you get the prices up then yeah it's 10 pound an hour 10 pound an hour or 15 quid for a full day <laughs> for 11 till 11 at arcade club yeah. and you don't pay for any of the machines everything there is free you just pay for food and drink and stuff like that. and it always sounds like an ad but this is genuinely coming from the heart as a gamer like if you want your best value for money and you want to be able to knock about have a few pints with you. apparently mark was smashed last week at thing i kick up he said he had six pints he couldn't see the screen properly <laughs> like that's the kind of experience you want in it when you want to go out with gaming with your mates like it's like 10 quid an hour well do you want one hour playing fifa 22 or do you want a month playing anything on game yeah. pass <laughs> yeah well i mean like if you used to go there for three hours that's 30 pound for a month's pass at rk club it's 35 pound and you can go whenever you want for however long you want like it's a no-brainer it's just about trying to find the right balance i understand that they need to make money somewhere but if you were as a parent and you was in the trafford center you might i don't know depending on the age of the kids you're not just going to leave your five-year-old at game belong where you go shopping in the trafford center but uh, i mean a lot of parents do that no not not five-year-olds mind but that's that is kind of the concept it's like a dad crash i know that's obviously stereotyping i mean i'm I'm using me as the stereotype there obviously it could be a mum crash too but me as the stereotype so dad crash it's like okay me daniel probably go you sit there and play it. And I'm like, yeah. Me going, RGB light, it's like, ooh. <laughs> and then, it like, like that, ooh, was Mr. Burns as the uh, the alien from The Simpsons, by the way. Like, ooh. Yeah. And then you go in, it's like 10 quid. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just talk about it. Outside Primark or something. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, lovely. I've got my phone in my pocket. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll watch Bibby on Twitch because it's Sunday morning. <laughs> I do really want this to work for game. And yeah. I, I believe it probably is making them a lot of money. I just, putting the consumer first. Not a lot of companies don't do it anymore because they've got to look after their own profit margins. They can't it's, be selling everything at a loss. It's it's because it's, it's everything else of it is not so profitable um, that they are trying too hard to make that account for some of the profit. Mm. And it's like, well, make it accessible. Yeah, accessible is also profitable. Uh, if expensive is profitable, but accessible and expensive are a trade off. And it's it's the the cost versus value versus service. If the service is great yeah. and it costs a lot. Uh, then it doesn't matter as long as you get great value. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hell, uh, why would you go to a store when your console has a store on it? Touche. I won't comment as I don't work on the Belong side, but I believe it's cheaper if you're a Belong member. Um, it's just one of those things. Sell. Timeless works at game, right? Game, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Why have you never let me use your discount code? I would be bigging up, I would be bigging up game like nobody's business if I got the game for... <laughs> 
Hashtag ad. Hashtag spill. Uh, sh- 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 shill, even. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if it was equal price to what I'll be playing on Game Collection. But yeah, so, I mean, we went on a big old rabbit hole there. We started talking about just selling uh, stuff in store. That's how you get around mm-hmm. scalping. Um, but yeah, scalping is 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 in the, the headlines again. In reality, it doesn't change much right now. The American uh, legislative bill has been announced named the Stopping Grinch Bots Act. Uh, so basically... Name. Someone stole Christmas. Name the Grinch. So they've named a name. Uh, they've named an act after it. They're trying to stop people scalping stuff. There's similar things in the UK. Um, uh, where was it called? The the this February, the gaming hardware bill, uh, which is automated purchase and resale, uh, intended to prohibit automated purchase and resale of games and console components, was introduced. Is still yet to receive a second reading. So stuff's happening. Not definitively. Uh, and I think it will be a long time before it happens, especially if the Conservatives, the ones that are in power, the ones that like the reselling of stuff, aren't getting behind any of it. So there you go. There you go. It's, it's just is what it is. It is what it is. So, so we'll keep you up to date. Hopefully, scalping gets, gets, gets gone. But hopefully as well, we just get rid of the chip shortages and everything's good. Moving ahead, though, our next news article, as Graham punches the microphone stand, uh, is from Tom Iben at VGC. And it says, EA has pulled the original Titanfall from sale for good. <laughs> But developer Respawn says this incredible universe will continue. Oh, oh, okay. style. Nice. Electronic Arts has pulled the original title fall from sale permanently. Developer Respawn announced on Wednesday that the game will also be removed from subscription services in March 2022, which will be eight years after its initial release. While the studio didn't provide a reason for discontinuing sales of the game, the Titanfall series has been the subject of ongoing DDoS attacks for several years. Quote, we've made the decision to continue new sales of the original Titanfall game starting today and we'll be removing the game from subscription services. Nice. Scrubscription. On March the 1st, 2022, Respawn said, we will, however, be keeping sales is live for the dedicated fan, fan base still playing and those who own the game and are looking to drop into a match rest assured titanfall is core to respawn's dna and this incredible universe will continue today in titanfall 2 and apex legends and in the future the studio added this franchise is the north star for the caliber of experiences we will continue to create here at respawn um we don't need to go about the history yeah. of it that's sort of so good there can't be that many people still playing the original one uh, surely not. Yeah, yeah I kind of, I agree. I, it still kind of makes me sad though, because is this is this video games in the modern age? Is this let's get rid of a video game for good? Why why get rid of it if mm-hmm. if just leaving it there and churning sales is is I mean, some sales, not a lot of sales. Surely it's, it's it's there. You've built it. It's out. Just getting the sales is fine. Is this though like? Most of the games, you just leave it there and let people buy it mm. forever. Are they pulling it eight years later, which is a long time and also not a very long time in, in the history of video games, depending on how you look at it. In terms of your general churn, yeah, you're hardly going to get any sales of a game in eight years. Uh, eight years after a launch, should I say. But eight years after a launch, is people still want to go, do you know what, I've never played it. Oh, there's a new Titanfall 3 coming out. I want to play Titanfall yeah. 1. So pulling that just does seem like a little bit of an odd decision. That said, they have... Uh, they are the subject of ongoing DDoS attacks, which part of it is people not happy with the way that... Is it is it cheating in Apex that people are using Titanfall to kick off about and the fact that they're not making a new Titanfall, people are using Titanfall to kick off about? So are they just thinking, do you know what, people are just yeah. spamming us in, in Titanfall? Is this a burying the head in the hand scenario of, okay, we understand there's, there's a lot of frustration and people are using Titanfall and hacking the shit out of that. We've covered that in a previous story, by the way, a few months back. Um, rather than dealing with the frustration, should we just get rid of Titanfall? Is it that? I think it's probably close to that. I mean, if they stop pulling it from sales, then do they have to worry about it? They can just leave the servers on, and if something happens, something happens. But I imagine their developer team and their network infrastructure guys have got Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends to worry about the latter of which is probably making them a hell of a lot money than the, the than this is. So why, where would you put your resources? You'd put it in your cash cow, which is obviously Apex Legends. I have got a Titanfall 2 there, but I do think that a Titanfall 3 is probably going to be coming. So they can't have this network team working on four different titles. It just, it'll be impossible. So yeah, I think they're going to pull it and then potentially just say, right, we'll leave the server up. They're not going to, t- they're not going to outwardly say that because then obviously you're a lot more prone to shit. Um, so yeah, I don't. I, for me, this isn't a big deal. I genuinely think that more people will be playing the second uh, version of the game and also playing Apex Legends. Timeless has said in the chat that he did. He, he managed to get back and play 
uh, the original Titanfall. He said it took him a little bit of time. Yeah, because I don't think the player base is as big as it used to be, which it, it kind of goes without saying. It's an old game. It's a seven-year-old game. It's been succeeded it's a, it's twice. It's a game that had a sequel and then had a spin-off. Yeah, so. it's been succeeded twice. So it doesn't surprise me that they're thinking about this. It, they will be looking at their numbers at all, at all times and they will be going, right, okay, now's probably the time to give it to, to, to pull the plug. They've given till March 2022, first of March, which is four months away. It's a long time to say rest in peace for. This is like the... It's like a, a final farewell, shall we say. There'll be a lot more people who sign on to it on the last day because people do that straight away. Or even off. this week, it'll have a little bit of a spike and then it'll drop off and then yeah. it'll spike towards the end again. Yeah, so it is kind of a farewell to it. It's, it is bizarre that rather than just going, okay, we're stopping the online service, but you can still buy the game. That usually mm-hmm. what happens. The fact that they've gone, we're stopping the online service and removing any potential more sales. Mm-hmm. That's that's the bit that's weird for me. I do believe it's, it is probably a little bit of that. Okay, let's we've got a little bit of a trash fire going on with the um the situation of people using that as a protest piece so we'll get rid of the protest mm. tool uh and silence is violence or, yeah. or silence stops the violence it doesn't it doesn't it just moves it elsewhere the people that are spending their time hacking an eight-year-old game clearly have time to spend so yeah. they will find other ways to get it. so if they are doing this as a way to get around um protests then you're not you're not getting around it you're just moving it somewhere else so yeah if you want to play Titanfall get involved you've only got four months ish left to play it before it's gone for good and you won't be able to play it online if you do have it you will be able to keep playing it um but yeah 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 yeah. for now not so much um the Springfield Files my absolute favorite episode says Lake that was my Springfield like ooh, uh, <laughs> reference Nailed nice it. oh you did well enough for Lake to be able to go oh that's the episode so. I clearly look like a fluorescent Mr. Same Burns. Props. Nice. Fluorescent, drugged up, big-eyed Mr. Burns. That's what Graham looks like. Cheers, cheers, Lake. <laughs> I'm glad you got that. Uh, also, I don't have a, a code, baby. I have to buy it. No discount online. So, yeah, if you want to buy it, you have to go meet Thomas in person. I'll pick it up for you. Fantastic. Nice. Uh, Timefall 3 confirmed. I love Titanfall, such a shame. Uh, and then that's where we get the comments that Bibby's just punched my mic in, that Bibby's just gone over. You'd be surprised. I went on last year a couple of times and found matches okay. It took a bit of time. We just need to make Titanfall 3. Titanfall was my first game online, uh, my first online FPS game I ever played. Um, I love Titanfall. It's timeless. I'd lo- How old are you? I'd love to know that. Uh, timeless is, is eight. Early 20s. Eight. Easy eight. Early 20s, I reckon. Uh, I'm going to say my age. 38? Uh, yeah. It just it was a late bloomer. I, I I never would have guessed that. My, my first FPS online. For one that I properly committed to was probably COD Four that I properly committed to. Anything before that was just like jumping on a few games here and there kind of Halo thing. Halo was mine. Uh, not not on my own account. On it was on Mike's account because he had Xbox Live and the original console. I didn't because mine was a really really legal console. Um, that could not be connected to the internet for... Did a light just flash then? Uh, yeah, it does that occasionally. I genuinely thought someone was taking a picture of us through the door. No, <laughs> it's no. Like... It's somewhat, it sounds like someone's always tapping on the window as well. I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's it's fans actually, outside, isn't it? People tapping on the window trying to get photographs. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off, ghost! <laughs> it's um, off, ghost! <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the Halo was mine. I would have been 12 or 13. But I think the, the my first actual like proper, proper, proper FPS... That I properly got into, say proper more, bad company too. Proper, proper. Yeah, I, I, I think that's one that I first took, started taking seriously. That came after COD Four. Like it was like next year or year year or two after. It was like mm. more like Modern Warfare Two kind of era. I think it was like so sixteen when that came out. I'd gone through like Modern Warfare, um, World at War, Modern Warfare Two, um, and then yeah, Battlefield Bad Company at that point in time was big things. Um, uh, Respawn are working. Uh, on starters aren't they uh maybe no time for all three uh for a while uh i w- i was in the i refused to pay to play online camp until the xbox one ps4 generation gave me my choice <laughs> <laughs> well honestly though like and i know we've been talking about the couch co-op stuff and uh playing online is equally as good if you have the right people to be able to play with again the couch co-op stuff you just it comes to multiplayer that's that that's multiplayer for me ain't no beat sounds so old and i'm only 30 no it's eight, Seems to be 31 it's 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 a shame that some gen- the next generation won't experience couch yeah, co-op it's properly. My, like, brother, my brother is 15. He has no idea, no idea the hours and time that I'd spend playing just, like Pro Evo. Just lanning. Like whether whether it's it's a proper land like Lake did, where he took his own PC and his own setup. That's amazing. And I need yeah, that in my life yeah. again. 
or it's just getting the lads around for a night. I mean, it's, it's probably five years, maybe more, since I last did it. I'd get all the lads come around my house kind of thing. They'd all bring their own beer. I've got, I think I've showed you pictures of me, mm-hmm. like, studying the garden with a big stack of booze kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we'll have, like, a Pez tournament. And we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set up a cup, and we always fuck it up, and we always have it with group stages. So the tournament takes about six yeah, days to get yeah. through. It's like, fuck Piss it. by the time you get to yeah, quarters. Yeah. <laughs> and then the ones that have been knocked out in the group stages don't give a shit anymore because it's 10-minute <laughs> matches, and you're watching every game. <laughs> Well, I mean, the closest experience we had to that was when we had, like, the score against cancer and stuff when we get in all the Pez lads up here and we're having, like, TVs in the corner over here, me beating show again for the 16th time in a row with Flamengo as he's by Munich, do you know Standard. what I mean? No no shade. Uh, is he in shot? His, his wins aren't. Damn. Oh, God. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway, we'll put a pin in that. So, Titanfall is dead. Well, Titanfall, Ish. the original game, is. It will be in four months' time. So if you want it, get it, pick it up, play through it, because the, the opportunity to play it will be gone. Uh, but Titanfall 2 is there. Well, uh, Apex is there. Surely Titanfall 3 will be coming soon. Uh, tell you what else is coming soon, or or isn't, is uh, is this. It's our next article. It's Fall Guys. It's not coming soon. Yes, it's already here. Let's get rid of the uh, Titanfall is dead. Get out of here. Uh, Fall Guys might be out, but it isn't hitting the Xbox or the Switch this year media tonic thanks xbox and switch fans for being patient so this is written by sean murray at the game and you know i always forget this isn't on anything but playstation obviously pc console wise i always forget that it's, it's effectively a playstation exclusive mm-hmm. at this point in time so anyway fall guys is still not on xbox or switch half a year after the originally planned release of summer 2021 Mediatonic delayed the Switch and Xbox versions of Fall Guys back in April, saying that it was, quote, unfortunately just too soon, uh, end quote. Now they're saying that it'll be 2022 at the earliest. We know everyone's excited about Fall Guy. Not Fall Guys, nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, coming to Nintendo Switch and Xbox uh, with good reason, wrote Mediatonic in Season 6 blog update. There has been a lot of speculation on social media connecting these new console releases to the Season 6 launch, and we want to clarify that's not the case, so no one's left confused looking for the game on these platforms. Thank you for being patient with us. Uh, it's one of our top priorities in active development, and we can't wait to share more details with you in 2022. Fall Guys would be the perfect Switch party game that might even be able to take on Mario Party, but it sounds like Mediatonic is keeping the game under wraps until they get everything right. Uh, that'd be couch co-op and Joy-Con integration, if you ask me. For the rest of us, that'd be PC and PlayStation. Fall Guys Season 6 has arrived with five new games, a brand new fame path, which is basically Season Pass, um, some great crossover costumes, and several new features for cross-platform progression between PS4 and Steam. Uh... You don't need to yeah, that. that's fine. So if you're interested in Fall Guys and you've got it on PlayStation or PC, new stuff, enjoy! <laughs> if you want to play it on anything else, I'm lucky. Yeah, it's not happening. It's, not happening. It's, 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 it's a bizarre one. I didn't expect this because um, maybe I've, I've over-egged in my own mind how much of an impact Epic would have. And maybe it's a good thing because I thought Mediatonic is the developer of Fall Guys. Mediatonic were picked up by Epic Games last year. Epic, obviously, we know Fortnite, Rocket League, all the rest of the stuff. Um, I assumed them coming in meant that Fall Guys was just going to get the big boost kind of thing. Um, That hasn't happened, which we think, oh, okay, maybe they've not added to it as much as, as, as I wanted. But then again, it also means that Epic have, haven't just jumped in and just taken over Fall Guys, changed it into another Epic one of those things that's on every platform, available everywhere. We do all the things. It's a Fortnite light reskin, but with a different kind of... It's not. It's not. It's still very much a Mediatonic game that is owned by Epic. So whilst it's a shame, it's nice to see that it's not just another cog in the machine. This is Mediatonic making a game with... And let's not forget, Epic is a massive, massive developer slash publisher slash everything. But Mediatonic is an indie developer with with a global title. Um, so it's... It's disappointing, no doubt, for anyone that's on any platforms. Maybe it's different for me because I'm on PlayStation and PC, but Fall Guys not rolling out yet shows you that it's still an indie game made by an indie developer, which still has some charm for me. I'm happy to see that. What are your thoughts, babe? I feel like they're kind of missing the boat here. I feel like it doesn't have the traction that it once had. I feel like it's fallen by the wayside. Just to jump on, you say missing the boat. Do you not feel it's missed the boat for next-gen stuff? Do you feel it's still got a large 
value in it no. at this point in time. I think it's like the Among Us stuff. I think Among Us take way too long. It should have uh, this. This game is already available for console. I don't see how why it's taking them so long to be able to roll it out for something else. Like it's already ready made for console. I, I again, I'm not a game developer in any way, shape, or form. But the they have the basics there for it to be on PC and already on PlayStation. How are they get? How can it take so long to be able to come to Xbox and Nintendo Switch? Like when this game boomed, PlayStation were loving it. They're giving it away for free during your PlayStation Plus subscription, and then now I think you have, you think you have to buy it. But that was twelve months ago, maybe. It, I think it was it was over that because it was pre Gamescom last year. Because Gamescom last year they were announcing season two, right? Of Fall Guys, so eighteen months. Yeah. So, like. Your exclusivity thing is obviously a priority. You cater to whoever's paying the most at the time, which PlayStation did. How how is this taking so long to come to other consoles? The rate, the the wave has well and truly gone for this game, in my opinion. Like I've just had a look on Twitch, there's six point eight thousand people that are watching it. It's being propped up by some guy who's streaming it with two thousand viewers. The rest of it is like one hundred sixty eight viewers, and then a load of like thirteen, fourteen viewers. So I think this game, like Among Us, has petered off like they've missed they've missed the jump in, in my personal opinion and i'm not saying that the bad games i just feel like the people who i watch stream this at the beginning have moved on to other games now i mean i don't see it in my feed at all anyway it, it will definitely have a, a a resurgence when it comes back when it hits xbox <clears throat> xbox will market it and it'll have another big peak xbox will put some ad spend in it will get influencers paid to play the game and stuff again but you won't get Fall Guys sat in Tim the Tapman's chat ripping him because he's 50 games in and he still hasn't yeah. had a win whilst everyone else around him has one. That, that, it, was, it became um, a culturally significant game, not a gaming significant yeah. game. And yeah. it, that won't happen again. They definitely... Not, not that they've missed the boat. They weren't able to get on that boat. By the time the boat comes back for them, everyone's gone. There's well, nobody it, it could have win. been a 12-month exclusive deal and they just haven't been able to, for whatever reason, in the last six months, get this playable on any other console. But this game was obviously being propped up as well by the marketing hype. If you wasn't a fan of the game, you have to admit that the, the marketing for this game by uh, Oli. Yeah, Oliver. Oliver, yeah. Um, he Age he 24. was yeah he was fantastic at promoting this game. What they had in their hands with him doing the um, social media stuff and also the game being a battle royale. I mean, I'm surprised this game didn't get a resurgence when Squid Game is coming out. It's, it's not technically the same, but it's like a total wipeout battle royale till the end kind of thing. And that's the vibe. Like even Samantha was playing it and she enjoyed it. It was it was it was the perfect sort of storm in a teacup. No, no, not storm in a teacup. It was the perfect storm. It was it was battle royale. Um, which I say at its peak, Battle Royale technically probably did have a peak a few years ago, although it still kind of maintained a peak because Battle Royale is such a viewer-friendly concept. Yeah. So it was Battle Royale mixed with family fun, mixed with free-to-play in a lockdown summer. It was just like, yes, yeah. okay, we'll all take that. I mean, Tiger King came out in lockdown summer. That would have probably had a bit of a peak somewhere, but because it came out at the time when everyone needed something to do, it was it was the perfect storm. They will never get that again. Even if they get some big resurgences and all the influencers stuff come back, you don't have the lockdown. You don't have the pandemic, yeah. or, or no, at least touch wood. I mean, Omicron. Maybe we do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's, it's not going to. I mean, the fact that it, it's been delayed. Let me let me jump into the chat. I did see a few comments. Uh, Vern, by the way, on the last story, talking about being old and playing couch co-op. Uh, couch can play with friends and booze will never be beaten. Makes us uh, sound old, but that's something the current gen will never experience. I feel sorry for them. 100%. I agree. Amen. Um, I started the Master System uh, Nez era couch co-op was the only option, mm -hmm. option. and then jumping into this story, uh, Timer says, uh, PS threw money at them. Extended PS exclusivity. It makes me think deals behind the scenes are being done. Oop, punching again. it again. <laughs> um, I've got an itch my nose. I keep scratching my nose. Uh, and then every time I lift it up, I'm like, Doosh, Hadouken, sure, I can. Um, anyway, um, makes me think deals behind the scenes have been done. I don't think that's the case um, with this because I don't think they paid for, uh, or were paid for PS exclusivity. I think PS paid for um, PS Plus featuring. I don't think they paid for exclusivity. I think it was just the fact that this was, I'm pretty sure at the time, Mediatonic developed Devolver Digital published. Um, so therefore, they just didn't have the money. It was Devolver Digital do an E3 showcase, but it's it's tiny in comparison yeah. to the other ones out there. So I think it was just no money there, no resources there to make sure they had teams working on it. The fact it's such a big game and it's put in those conversations 
is probably unfair, but is a testament to how well they did with that initial marketing phase. And the fact that it's not there, like, is kind of comes back to my initial point. That's it's kind of it's, it's disappointing for those with with an Xbox or a Switch. But for me, as someone that's looking at it more console agnostically, it's it's kind of charming to see that this isn't just another cog in the epic machine. It's still yeah. Mediatonic as a small developer that doesn't have the resources. That's what I see it as. It could be. There could be brown envelopes from Sony going, yeah, yeah, just take another, six months, there. Just yeah, take it, another six months. It mate. just feels bizarre that after all this time, if it hasn't been console exclusive, why is it taking so long? Yeah. There must be something else at play here. That said, it took 12 months-ish for PUBG to get off of Xbox onto, um, onto PlayStation as well, and they had much more... Uh, Oh no, maybe they didn't because that was Blue Hole back then. Yeah, if if PUBG, I mean, it was a, it was an absolute trash fire when it got to the console, but PUBG did it in twelve months. Come on, four guys, you've had eighteen months. So <laughs> I mean, um, Robo enters the chat like Bernardo's volley last night with a boom. Yeah, I, I, I Sean Graham before he obviously was yesterday. Finish, finish and a half. Right, it's just he's a freak that kid. You absolutely hate to see it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't. You fucking love to see it. Do that it was tonight. it was filthy. It was filthy. Well, you know, Marshall spinning backflip with the boom. Yeah. Nah, what Marshall will do is he'll get the ball at his feet, run straight at his defender, uh, head down, and just run at him. And hopefully the ball will ping off Marshall onto the defender, back onto Marshall, onto the defender, and into him so he can right foot. Because that's all Marshall does. He beats the man and everyone goes, oh. I was like, he just ran at him and it pinged up backwards and forwards. That's all he does. Anyway, anyway, that's enough. I'm not frustrated United fan at all. I fucking love watching you. <laughs> Final news article of the day. Um... Uh, Twitch rivals could do uh, more with it, I guess. I mean, it could, it could do. Yeah, they've, they've not had twenty-seven thousand bajillion stuff. Yeah, nice. Uh, finally, you got an Xbox. Okay, you don't have. Um, I completely forgot his name. Fall Guys. Uh, you don't have Fall Guys, but what you do have is a bunch of new Xbox Game Pass titles for console, PC, and cloud, as they've been announced. This includes Final Fantasy Thirteen Two. Is that how you pronounce that? Final Fantasy Thirteen Two. I don't know. I, We'll we'll go with that. Stardew Valley, Halo Infinite, uh, uh, Aliens, Fire Team, Elite, 14? and Among Us. And I, I thought thirteen was two X. eyes. No, no, that would be twelve. So you've got X is ten, X I is eleven, X I I is twelve. Oh. So that's thirteen. I just don't know if it's thirteen two. Oh, I, I, we'll go with that. Anyway, and Among Us, if I didn't say that bit. So Microsoft has confirmed the next batch of title heading to Game Pass for console, PC, and X Cloud uh, Gaming. That's, uh, yeah, that's titled. In the body of the article, it says seven games will join the service on December the 2nd, which is today, which is one day before my birthday, just in case you uh, needed confirmation. Um, they will be Anvil for console and PC. Archvale for uh, cloud, console, and PC. Final Fantasy XIII for console and PC. Lawn Mowing Simulator for cloud, console, PC. Rubber Bandits for cloud, console, PC, microwave. Stardew Valley for cloud, console, PC, mini fridge. And Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector for cloud, console, PC, bread warmer, soup maker, mini fridge, uh, <laughs> smart TV. Uh, they'll be followed by Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. Okay, you get it. Uh, on December 7th. Halo Infinite on December 8th. One Piece Pirate Warriors or on December 9th, and Aliens Fireteam Elite and Among Us on December the 14th. So if you've got yourself an Xbox, you've got yourself Game Pass, you can see all of the games in the uh, header image that was at the top of the article. I say you can see it's not there anymore, but there we go. There you go, on your screen now. So anybody picking any of those up? Any of those tickle your pickle, bib? You get yeah. yourself an Xbox today? I am, Lawn Mowing Simulator. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously, I'm going to be playing that. <laughs> I've, I've wanted to play Farming Simulator for ages. I think it's just one of them games that you can just chill out with. I am interested in starting Stardew. Because people keep on talking and telling me that it's an amazing game. It doesn't look like a baby game, so I'm willing to be able to play this one and give everyone my thoughts and opinions. You imagine that it's probably going to be half decent. Um, Aliens Fireteam was actually a game that I wanted to play when it came out, but I didn't want to spend the £35 because it looked meh. It looked okay, but it looked like the content was a bit meh. Is that is that the one that was back for blood, player. but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that was like, ooh! Ooh, and then it was like, ooh. Yeah, it's a bit of a deflated mm. balloon kind of thing. But If it's uh, free. Yeah, it's ish. free. <laughs> exactly. Halo Infinite as well. That's, that's, that, it, that in itself is worth your subscription for the month. Forget about Lomo in Simulator. I am getting swept up with the Halo Infinite hype. <sighs> Clarify, I am not going to play it. I mean, I play the campaign. I'm still not asked. I've watched watching Jordan playing it like last night. I was talking about it yesterday. Um, like it was amazing to see how well it plays, how good it is, how well balanced it is, how a good, better team can get slapped, but then clutch it out. And like, yeah. 
I'm very, very, very impressed with Halo Infinite. Still not enough to actually play it. It's not my kind. Of, it's not my kind <laughs> of shooter. But I am happy. I am so happy that Xbox has. Yeah. A, a, a fuck off. <laughs> piss off, Ghost. Piss off, Ghost. Piss off, PlayStation. <laughs> it has a piss off PlayStation title. Yeah. Well, Forza as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's taken them twelve months to get there, but now they've got two absolute bangers back to back as well. GG's. So, Fair play to fair play to Microsoft. Obviously, the marketing has been fantastic for the longest time. They now have games to be able to back it up, and they these are system selling games. Yeah, not just like this. Game, this is just gonna be a Game Pass machine for me. Like it's digital console. I'm not gonna be buying games on the store. It's just gonna be a Game Pass machine, um, and that for me in itself is a massive dub. So, yeah, it's a system seller. System selling games. It's a fucking a system seller. Whereas you got the system for free, and you get the seller with it for free. Fuck. How does this even work? It's fucking yeah. amazing. GG's Xbox mm. once again, as always, as you have been all the way through the year. Uh, you've been killing it with Game Pass. So as you can see, that those were your new Xbox Game Pass games. They have been revealed. They will be coming to you throughout December. Make sure you get involved. And if you do, do feel free to let us know. Uh, but we are done for the day. Thank yep. you. I appreciate you all dropping in. Let me pick off the last few comments in the chat. Hello! Uh, such a shame about Alien Fireteam Elite. Hope it gets a resurgence via Game Pass, uh, says Timeless. It's, I don't think it will. Um... It's one of those games that were like, oh, these fucking aliens. We're almost talking like Dead Space vibes and stuff. And then it was just a, it was just another one of those squad four way shooters when there was like seventy two of them coming yeah, out at once. And Back for Blood was better. Yeah. Uh, so it just it it. I was watching Fixer play it, MC mm-hmm. Fixer, and it was it was all right. And that was the extent of it, which was a shame. So I don't think it'll get a resurgence because I don't think it was good enough, which was a shame because I wanted it to be better than it was. I would say, and it came out a year before, um, Predator Hunting Grounds was better yeah. and that was free uh, for like on, on PS. But yeah, I mean, very much. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, um, SDV uh, Stardust Valley is awesome, but time consuming. I bought Halo Infinite. That's how hyped I am. Even yeah. though you get it for free on Game Pass, GG's. Uh, DMAC, Halo is the only reason I got Game Pass. <laughs> it's, it's a good reason to get Game Pass. Yeah. Plus, you get Forza as well, which is also badass. Let's play that. Also, repping that first badge. You love to see. You love to see. Style. Cheers, DMAC. Uh, Tito says, typical Sony fanboy. Uh, <laughs> I'm bad, by the way. <laughs> what, what did I say? I, didn't I say I was hyped for it? I was, I was, I was excited I for it. You were, you were leading the conversation into fanboyism, but then obviously you moved it away uh, straight away. I can't remember. It sounds, it sounds like something I do. Yeah, to be it fair. does sound like something yeah. I do. Yeah. But yeah, GG's, GG's Microsoft. It's, Halo Infinite looks badass. I'm not going to play it. I'm not asked about space marine shooters, but I am impressed at how good a shooter it looks. Mm. Uh, to the point, like I say, watch Enix play it. Watch someone play it. If you're not going to play it, watch someone else play it and live off their excitement. That's that's what I will do. I will play through it's the story. Mode, good in it as well. Yeah, exactly. I uh, play it, it's just it's carnage. It's just... Maybe that's why I don't like any of the games that Bibby plays because Bibby plays them. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. On that horrible bombshell, we're going to finish things up. Thank you for joining us for my last ever scoop as a 35 year old man i'm not going to do one ever again before i'm 36 i am 36 in the morning but i won't be back for the scoop bibby is dolloping one man show tomorrow as i destroy the stream deck <laughs> fucking hell yikes uh so bibby is back tomorrow with 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 a scoop i'm not gonna be back until next well saturday actually i'll be back on saturday let me add an ish ish i'll be back on saturday ish i will be playing PUBG on saturday morning depending on how my birthday night yeah, goes so all about the conditions so i will be playing at some po- some point in time if there's a, ever a 10 a.m ish that's probably an ish <laughs> so just just saying just saying just, just so you know um baby will be following that saturday play with potentially some some halo depending on how his xbox goes if not it will be skyrim which brings us back to today mm-hmm. you're playing some games tonight babe I am playing Skyrim, for those of you that wasn't here at the beginning of the show. Tonight, 6.30-ish. Ish. Playing some Skyrim, continuing with our playthrough. I think we're about 33 hours in overall now, <laughs> which is, few. yeah, it's just, again, I've not, I've not even scratched the surface, Graham. That's all. That's how long we've played the game for, but we are getting to some juicy bits now. We're starting to go through all the book of memories and things like that, which is uh, great. So yeah, it's uh we get we get in there, we're taking down more and more dragons. I think we're doing like two, maybe two dragons every game uh, playthrough at this moment in time. So we are well on course to becoming the savior. That Do you know, needed. I was listening to kind of funny games daily today, and they went on a big tangent, kind of like we do, kind of. <laughs> uh, and they were talking about like 
I can't remember what they called it, but basically the fuck me moments that you get in video games. Like, it could be something that's super emotional, something that's super big or whatever that takes your breath away. And, like, I was instantly thinking, I'm wearing a Last of Us jacket, so that could have been part of the thing. I was instantly thinking, like, seeing... seeing a zoo animal. I won't. I won't give any spoilers in the first uh, Last of Us game. Um, but one of the things they mentioned was like Skyrim and seeing the dragon for the first time, kind yeah. of thing. Is that is that like a big thing? It's like right at the very beginning of the game. Like you, you come down, you you classed as beings. You get caught up in some traitors and stuff, and you're meant to be getting your head taken off. You see someone else get theirs taken off, so you're next in line. And then you hear the dragons coming around, and then it lands on top of the castle. And then it starts f- uh, f- uh, breathing out fire everywhere, setting the entire village. Up. This is like the first ten minutes. But if you've got your headset on and you've got like we've obviously got Astro or Corsair headsets, and you have something that's like really, really good at sound, like you can hear the dragon. And it just it sounds amazing. I can't really describe it unless you played it yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's like hearing a Tie Fighter for the first time in uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Like it's it's just you can't get your head around it. It just sounds fucking awesome. Badass. Badass. Yeah. I missed it. Great, nice. Great. Nice one, babe. Ruined it. I'll start again if you want. Graham's crying. Cheers. <laughs> I'll start again. It's fine. Uh Timeless says, happy day of birth, sir. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, I will probably drop into Bibbs' chat at some point, but tomorrow is food and drinks and stuff yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday from the future. <laughs> <laughs> that has absolutely blown my mind. <laughs> so I am 35. But where Tay's bad is, I am 36. Ooh. Do, do, do. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Thank you very much from the future. I appreciate it. But Tito says, I'm looking forward to your birthday, if only because we won't have to hear about it again for another 300 <laughs> days. <laughs> Someone's bad at maths. It's a, bit, it's a few more than 300 no, days. No, it means that I'm talking about it for 65 days before it happens. I mean, that joke wins clearly went <laughs> over my head, but here we go. Sorry, Tito, I've got you. Uh, you can start 37 birthday hype for 2022 on Saturday. Let's go. Uh, you don't have to remind him. He's already got the countdown kickoff parade waiting to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, starting the birthday promotion for 2022 for us. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, that's it, though. Appreciate you all. Have yourselves a fantastic. What day are we on? Uh, Thursday. Mate. Nice. Have a fantastic Thursday. I knew that. One hundred percent. Birthday Guaranteed. minus one. Exactly. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, and do some work stuff. Bibby is too. He will be back six thirty p.m. tonight. So make sure you are back for that. Uh, but from all of us, have yeah. yourselves a beautiful day. Uh, I'll enjoy my birthday. But you guys have gotta stay frosty.